Hi everyone, starting out week two of the Plastic Free July vlogs that I'm doing. Today is day 10 of Plastic Free July and day 10, I'll pop up the screenshot of what they posted today, but day 10 is using plastic free laundry detergent options. And I'm about to do a load of laundry. I just dyed some clothes, some thrift clothes. So I have to wash them now and I'm gonna show you what I use that's plastic free. The first option I have is these True Earth strips. They look like this. I've shared them with you guys on my channel before. But this is what they look like. They're these little strips. Don't mind my dye hands. Oh. But they're these little strips. Uh, you just toss them in with your laundry and they dissolve. This is a great option. I also have some of these still left over from my uh, plastic free laundry review. But this is a great option. Drops. Um, they come in these like boxes. It comes together and then you break them apart. And they're, they're like little pods. I don't know if I said that already. They have like a sensitive skin formula. So is this one. This one's um, this one's their fragrance free option, which I always get just because I'm sensitive to things like that. And then I also have, which I use to wash some clothes for dyeing them. This is what I used. This is my DIY homemade laundry detergent. It's like this powder. I'll pop up the link to that video right here. But this is a super simple recipe, super easy to like uh, customize too, because you use your own soap bar. So it's whatever soap bar you want to use, you add to it. And then there's two other ingredients I'm forgetting right now, but I'll link that up there, like I said. Um, so that's the start of second week vlog and I'll keep you updated on what other things are kind of going on with Plastic Free July. Hey guys, checking in. It's July 11th and this is the second week of Plastic Free July. Today is Monday and I have my list here. I got this little piece of cardboard from the back of a notepad that was about to get thrown away. So we'll hack there to use the whole notepad. But anyways, uh, this is my list for groceries. I have the like meals that I have planned out for the week. Let's see if we can get all of these items plastic free. I'm at Sprouts today. So a little bit different. I have to get some raw cashews and this is the only place I could think of that might have it like in bins where I can get it plastic free. So we're gonna go check it out and see what's up. The only thing that I think we might not be able to get plastic free is the vegan butter because a lot of times that comes in plastic tubs or like plastic wrapping so anyways i'm rambling let's get inside and see what we find get this let's say something like this that just has plastic film in there that's not even recyclable so i'm gonna get this one
Kaya. Which one was your pick? Hmm. Okay. I think that one's perfect. Yeah. For vegan pizza. rubber bands but they're reusable so it's not really single use plastic. She used it for her hair. Yeah. She's daily. Oh, <laughs> She's reusing. Mm -hmm. They only sell on plastic bags so she's. And it's per the pound so you can move them around anyways so I just put it in my own bag and then whoever wants less can This one seems to be like the only one that has only a little bit of plastic. All of the other ones are like in these plastic bags. So I guess I'm gonna go with this one, even though it's not the exact pasta that I wanna get. Um, we do have this option that's completely like cardboard, but it's way more expensive and it's not like normal pasta what I'm looking for. So I guess I'm just gonna get this one. I don't know why they need this window, but it's fun to get. So pretty much all of their bread here has plastic. I got these baguettes. It's partially paper, partially plastic. I'll put this plastic in my eco brick, but it's not really any other option. We've already been to eight other stores. Today's Friday, I'm running a 5k tomorrow and I went to pick up my packet. Um, this t-shirt came in some plastic, so I got plastic from that. This bag is reusable and um, let's see, some other flyers in here, but they're all paper. So this is pretty much only plastic. So this is gonna be added to my like eco brick bin. Um, and added to the tally for plastic waste for during Plastic Free July. <laughs> So 
So you just saw me do the run and get the pack in and everything. And you probably saw this like drawstring bag that I got as like the goodie bag for the run. I don't use drawstring bags, so I'm gonna try to make this into some sort of tote bag to use uh, for like groceries or stuff. Cause I use tote bags a lot more than I would use a drawstring bag. I already untied one strap from the grommet. I'm going to untie the second one and then I'm gonna leave the drawstring at the top just as like an extra added feature and then I have some leftover like nylon cording from when I tried to repair my Chaco sandals so I'm gonna use that as the straps and we'll see how this goes. I went to grab a coffee and now I'm gonna get working on the bag but I just wanted to say real quick that I went to Starbucks and they let me use my reusable cup. Um, you just take the lid off, put your cup in their like big mug that they use for reusables and then they pour the drink in that in your cup in the mug and then you just put the lid on and take it. So super easy way to use reusables. I really appreciated that from them. I think I did that in my last vlog too. Um, but yeah, that's what I did and I'm going to get started on this bag rework. So I like the length of the handles on this bag so I'm going to use it as sort of a guide for this bag and kind of line it up and then measure out the cording to the length that these straps are. Okay, so what I did is a box stitch to really reinforce the strap and keep it from breaking or like the stitches coming undone and it getting like ripped off of here. This will make it a lot stronger because it has like all four corners, all the sides and then across the middle too so there won't be any pulling from the center. So I'm going to repeat this step for all four. I couldn't find my black thread so it's white. I'm just going to hit it with the lighter after and then color it with like some uh, a black oil paint pen because oil paint uh, unlike acrylic it won't come off. It'll soak in and really stain the thread hopefully. So let me finish these other three and I'll be right back. back I went ahead and cut the strings like the excess strings and burned it so it's nice and tight in there I did however accidentally burn a hole into the front of it which I'm not sure what to do about yet but I got both the the front and the back so they're all secure I also cut these strings down so now I have this excess to do some other project with but I cut them down, tied off the knots, and then I melted it. And when I melted it, I pressed it down with the bottom of the lighter. So this way the solid piece is flat and wide enough to cover the hole so it won't come untied ever. And it also sort of fuses the knot at the end. Um, so it's sort of one piece now. And I left them a little bit long just for like a little bit of style on it. And then um, I tested out this pen. This is an oil-based paint pen in black, and I colored in this backside already. So it seems to be working, so I'm gonna go ahead and color in the front as well. All right, all done. If anybody knows anything I can do to fix this bowl or any ideas to like cover it up, let me know, because that was a mistake. But this is what it looks like tote bag, closes up, drawstring. I still have the grommets on here too, so you can even like, I don't know, probably do something with that, but I don't have any ideas right now. But yeah, that's the bag. Now I can actually use it, whereas before I would never use like a drawstring backpack. So I'm glad to have been able to repurpose this item and save it from the landfill.